There you go now fellas, here we go, we got the triple carmelite. I've done this one before, but I just thought I'd throw it in again. I haven't had it for a few years, I reckon at least two or three years. You just want to retry some of the old beers that, you know, that you thought were alright a while ago. And, um, I don't mind a good triple. Doubles are good. Broom, browns, they're nice too. If you do a good one, I'm wrapped. Alright, beautiful head. Look at the head on that. That's just gorgeous. What's that, a floaty? Anyway. Oh, you can't see the head there. Let's have a look. Beautiful head. Gorgeous looking head. Alright, so this is a Belgian beer. Looks quite nice. Let's woof into it. Very floral, it's got a floral sort of flavour to it. Got that um, bit of a tang, like the Belgium Abbey beer sort of flavour. Um, Belgium beer, I've had plenty of their beers over the years. I like Belgium, that was great. But you go to Belgium, make sure you get a bruise. And they call it Bruges over there. Bruges. Yeah, we were telling all these Dutch people about Bruges in um, Belgium and they'd never heard of it. Eventually one of them said, oh, is that Bruges? Bruges. Oh, okay. Yep, all right. That'll be it. Classic. Yeah, one of the best little towns to get around, I reckon. Bruges. Here. I just ran out of time to drink all the beers in town. We went from one shop to another. There was one that was like a museum. Had like hundreds of Belgian beers in there. Hundreds. Yeah, there was no way I was going to get through them in a day. So yeah, I might have to go back for a week or a couple of, couple of months. You could spend a month there and you wouldn't drink all the beers he got. Beautiful mussels though, when we were there. We had mussels and uh, french fries, waffles, lovely chocolate. It's really well known for its chocolate too, that part of Belgium. Gorgeous chocolate. We had some street food as well. Fritz McMayonnaise, that was great. So, yeah, get your ass over to Bruges if you get a chance. You're in Europe, go to Bruges. Now, this beer is pretty good. You know, it sort of settled down. The first sip you have, it'll like get a bit of a shock sometimes with beer. It's like, whoa, ooh. Strong flavour, but it is very floral. I'm going to read what they reckon about it. Blonde, robust, smooth and fruity. Three grain beer with final fermentation in a bottle. Brewed with pride and patience. After Carmelite tradition with wheat, oat and barley. 100% natural beer. There you go. Straight up. 2.1 standard drinks. 8.4%. Strong blonde. 8 Four. That's a bit of a kick ass. And it's gorgeous. And it's gassy. Or is that the hamburger I had with the lot for lunch? Gassing up with the beer on top, probably. Uh, it's all good. Alright, guys, um, if you get to Belgium, make sure you get a Bruges. Yeah, like I've been to Liège and I've been to Brussels and few other places on, along the border with uh, Holland, or southern Holland, because I lived on the border on and off for seven months. So we just whip into Belgium and, uh, you know, spend a day there, spend half a day, go to a few nightclubs at night sometimes. Yeah, interesting. But they've been making beer, well, this one, Triple Carmel, yeah, 
since 1679. Wow, it's a long time. Cheers, everyone. Enjoy.